ProShow's preferences allow you to adjust many of the default settings that are applied to each show you create, including slide times and transition effects. To access these settings, from the File menu, select Edit, then Preferences. Today we'll be looking at the Show Defaults options. These options are identical for both ProShow Gold and ProShow Producer, with the exception of one setting that we'll cover in a moment. Let's start with the options that affect shows the most, the default slide settings. These settings control the basic timing and effects used for every show you create. The slide duration is the time value that will be used for the first new slide that you add to your show. The transition duration is the length of time that is used for the transitions on the new slides. By default, both of these are set to 3 seconds. If you find that different timing works better for the shows that you create, simply change the values for either option or both. The transition effect is what ProShow will use as the transition for any new slides that you create. By default, this will be a crossfade effect. To change the default transition, click the effect icon and then choose another effect. Keep in mind that only these standard transitions can be set as a default setting. If you use random transition effects in your shows, this setting allows you to select which effects will be chosen at random. This is a great way to make sure only the effects that you like will be used in your shows. Simply click the Select button, then uncheck any unwanted effects, and then press Apply to save your changes. In the Default Motion Settings pane, you can set the type of movement that you'd like your motion effects to have by default. You can choose either Pan Smooth and Pan Linear from the drop-down list. If you're using ProShow Producer, you'll also have an additional motion setting that allows you to adjust the curve value. If you're not sure how these options affect your shows, check out our tutorial on understanding motion types. At the bottom of the Preferences window, you'll find the Default Image Settings pane. This pane lets you determine how any new images you add to your slide will be scaled. You can choose any of the normal scaling options including Fit to Frame, Fill Frame, Stretch to Frame, Fit to Save Zone, and Fill Safe Zone. Finally, back at the top of the window, you'll find the Time Format for Timelines option. This allows you to choose how you want time to be displayed when featured in a timeline. This includes the timeline view of the slide list, the audio trimmer, the video trimmer, and all keyframe timelines. Let's take a look at how this option changes the audio trimmer. By default, ProShow will display time in a minutes to seconds format. That means that one minute of time will appear as one minute and zero seconds. If you enable this option, ProShow will display all times in seconds. That means that one minute of time will appear as 60 seconds. This is strictly a personal preference option as it doesn't affect anything within your shows. You can always apply changes on a show by show basis, but having your own custom default settings is a great way to save time when making new shows in ProShow.